Hey, Sanford fans, welcome into a brand new season of the Sanford Sports Wrap Up presented by Coca Cola. I'm John McAfoos, happy to get things kicked off by welcoming in Director of Athletics Martin Newton. Martin, as always, appreciate your time. No, thanks for having me. I can't believe we're starting a new school year. I mean, it's just crazy. The energy back on campus is great. I love it. I love the summer because our student athletes, we still have a lot of little kids around, our student athletes, some of them are around. But man, when you get this campus buzzing with over 5,000 people, that's a lot of energy, and I like that energy. And fall sports already underway. Let's start with football. What an opportunity not just for the football program, but for all of Stanford University to be on the national stage last week for the FCS kickoff. Yeah, to be on ESPN, the ESPN platform, and to kick off the 150th anniversary uh, of college football, I I'm not sure it's really sunk in the impact that that's going to have. And I think some of our student athletes uh, will realize it when they're in their 40s and their 50s going, man, we, we kicked off the 150th anniversary of college football. A great audience. It was 50% viewership, was 50% up from ESPN over last year. Uh, it was a chance for us to reach millions of people uh, for the Sanford brand. And although the outcome of the game isn't what we wanted, uh, I think there's a lot of positives that, that Coach Hatcher saw and, and getting the team here early, being able to practice. We're really a week ahead of everybody else. Uh, so I'm excited about what this team stands for and what, they, what the potential is for this year. And they're back in action this weekend at Tennessee Tech. The other fall sports are also underway or about to get started. Soccer, a couple more home games this weekend against Western Kentucky and LSU volleyball. Uh, pick to win the SOCON, they get started in Arizona and cross country about a week away from starting up. Yeah, I told Keeler and Todd there's no pressure on them. They're just repeating, so we expect the same thing against this year. Uh, but, but our women's sports have always been really good here. And, and volleyball, it starts at the beginning of the year with volleyball and soccer. Both coaches do a tremendous job of getting their teams ready at the right time. Uh, I, I've seen, uh, you know, Keeler doesn't necessarily, nobody wants to be picked number one in preseason. It's not where you start, it's where you finish. Uh, but I think Keeler's got a good, good nucleus coming back, and I know he's excited about his team. And and then uh, Coach Yelton, although we haven't gotten necessarily off to the start we want to get off to, um, I think, again, how we finish is going to be impressive because this is a real physical, tough group, and I'm excited about both of those sports. Some facilities upgrades as well, and if you've driven on the Sanford campus, certainly you've seen the new video board at Cybert Stadium, and it'll be powered up soon and tested, and it's going to be fun to see that thing in action in a couple of weeks. Yeah, actually, if you drive up 31 in Vestavia, you can see it as well. We're going to start like having a drive-in movie theater or something, but uh, really excited about that video board, and not because it was a want. Uh, but because it was a need. Our last video board, number one, was on its last leg, and you know you, you have to use it. And, and if we would have gotten through this season, it would have been a miracle. Um, but the other thing is, is you will now be able to see it. Uh, and the location where we put it, I think, is great. The size is great. Uh, we've got phase two of that project is to do something with the fan experience as it relates to seating, uh, concessions, and, and, and hospitality and restrooms. But uh, really excited that that video board's going to be up and running. We're keeping our fingers crossed uh, and, and just can't thank those donors. We had a lot of people step up and, and donate. You know, at, at Sanford, it's got, we've got to raise 110% of the funds before we can do it. And so thankful to all those donors, Johnny Mack, that stepped up and, and, and provided the funds to make that happen. Happen. And Martin, you've got some new things on your plate this year as well. You are now on the NCAA Division I Council and also the Men's Basketball Oversight Committee. Talk a little bit about those roles. Really, it's an honor for me. And, and being on the Division I Council, that's a four-year term. Uh, it's really like having a second job. And, and, and I look at it as... as, as uh, an opportunity to really make a difference in this this sport and, and, and not just this sport but in college athletics right now. We're at a real crossroads in college athletics and have some real uh, tough times coming up that we've got to deal with. Issues like you know name image and likeness and paying players and uh, transfer portals and all the different things. College athletics has become a big business and and how we manage those things, uh, mental health issues with student athletes. So I'm really excited to be on, on the council and then to have the opportunity to serve on the Men's Basketball Oversight Committee. I mean, it, you know, I make no bones about it. I grew up in a basketball family. My dad was a coach. Uh, he was on the Men's Basketball Oversight Committee. Um, to be able to be on that committee and have a direct hand uh, in what goes on in the game of basketball for the future of the game of basketball, I'm excited. And so it's, uh, it's going to be like having another full-time job. Uh, but you know what, I, if you're passionate about college athletics, and you and I talk about this all the time, you know, working in college athletics isn't a job. It's got to be a, a lifestyle. Uh, I know how many hours you work. You don't come in at 8 and leave at 5. I mean, it is a lifestyle. And so for me, this is just a, 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 this is a hobby. This is a way to continue doing what I love to do. Martin, appreciate your time. Thank you. Director of Athletics, Martin Newton. I'm John McAfoos. That'll do it for this edition of the Sanford Sports Wrap-Up presented by Coca-Cola. We'll see you next week.